everyone. I'm Dylan and today we're teaming up with Crank It Forward for a very special episode of DIY Prop Shop. These props are about to get some real world action, so here we go. We're here in Garden Grove where today High Tide Roller Derby is getting ready to face off. They think they're here for a practice game, but what they don't know is that they're going to be playing for charity. For every point they score, they get $50 to the charity of their choice. I skate as Jabberwocky. My name is Bat Crap Crazy. My favorite thing about Derby is just the camaraderie that I have with my team and my girls, and we're like one big family. The girls are really supportive with each other. I would recommend roller derby for anybody, whatever age, whatever size, no matter what. Put on some skates, get on the track. It's awesome. In 2013, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer, and I spent all of 2013 doing chemotherapy and mastectomy and radiation. And when that was done, I needed a way to distract myself from paranoid fear that my cancer was back and Derby is a good distraction. Today I'm playing for the Chublakas. We're skating for the Komen Foundation. The Komen Foundation raises money for breast cancer research and awareness. The Nerf Herders will be skating for Senior Serve, which is a part of Meals on Wheels. For every $26 donated, 15 meals will be served to seniors in Orange County. Thanks everyone for coming out today. I know that you think we're just scrimmaging, but I got a special surprise for you. We're gonna be going head to head for our local charities. For every point you score, we get $50 to the charity of our choice. Yeah. To the left, I have the Nerf Herders. Yeah. And to the right, I've got the Chublakas. Yeah. But first, let's head back to the workshop and get working on our props. Today we're gonna to be working on Chewbacca's bow caster. So my first thought is, what am I gonna make the base handle out of? There's a lot of different options. I'm thinking wood will probably be the easiest thing to do, cut it with a jigsaw. The next thing is you wanna build the barrel and the different scopes and binocular sights. Those will all be done out of PVC piping. Then you have all these kind of different little gadget trees up here. You can do different connectors in the PVC pipe aisle as well. Right here, I'm gonna use a piece of pretty thin aluminum that I can mold pretty easily. Put a couple of plastic softballs in the end for the balls right here. So here are all the materials we're gonna be needing today to get our bow caster all complete. Most importantly is our piece of wood. One inch is about the width that you're gonna want. I got this at Home Depot for about $14. Then we're going onto our PVC pipe that we'll want in various diameters, and then we'll be cutting it down into length. We have our different connectors that you also find in the same aisle. Then we'll go into adding other details with some washers, bolts, and nuts. That will be our knobs on the side. These run like 15 to 30 cents, depending on what you get. Then we'll also be getting a, a light switch that we'll be using for the trigger for our hardware store for about a dollar. I got these at the 99 cent store. Obviously, we're gonna be putting these at the ends of our, of our bowcaster. I have a thing of loom. More loom than you'll ever need in your entire life, but this bag costs you $5. We'll be hitting it with some spray paint, and this runs about $4 a can. And we'll also be using a piece of thin aluminum. This guy runs about mm, 3 to $4, depending on the thickness you get. And those are our materials. <laughs> All right, now we're outside. We're gonna start working on the base of our gun, which we're gonna be making out of plywood. I made my stencil at home with some blue tape. I eyeballed it as best as I could, and then I cut it out. We'll be taping this to the plywood, tracing it out with a marker, and then cutting it out with a jigsaw. The next step is taking our, what will be the barrel of our gun, which is the PVC pipe, and drilling it directly to the base, the wood base, because we want that to be super secure. All right, so we've got our base of our bow caster completely together now that the barrel is attached to the wood base. Now it's gonna come to sanding and rounding these edges so that A, they're pretty, and B, you don't splinter the heck out of your hands. So we just finished sanding down our bow caster. Now we're gonna go through and add all the embellishments on top, such as the scopes and the knobs. So we're gonna start cutting these scopes down to size. I'm really just eyeballing this. I'm gonna say that the middle scope is probably about 10 inches. So basically right now what I'm doing is trying to match all these little connectors that I went to the hardware store and got and trying to match them as best as I can to the photo. Uh, you could totally use epoxy if you want it to be really, really durable, but hot glue will be totally perfect for me and it'll be quick and easy. So we just got the scopes all in place, all glued down. Now we're gonna go through and add all the embellishments on the side that will be done with washers, bolts, and nuts. 
So this looks probably really odd, but aluminum is incredibly malleable. It will move pretty much any direction you pull it and it will do it really, really quickly. So the best bet is to do it nice and slow because it will give you that curved look that you're looking for nice and easy without a lot of pressure. So now that we have this cross piece on, we'll put this string on from here to here with some hot glue. We need to put the balls on to make the bowcaster recognizable. All right, we're gonna try our trigger. So we're gonna take this apart and see what's inside. We're trying to be so like, dignified and take it apart piece by piece. In reality, all I wanna do is smash it open and see what happens. Wow, they make these really well. Wow, don't mind me, I'll be right back. <laughs> De voila! Oh, I got a trigger there. Hot glue that guy in place. So we're on to our coil details on the side. Basically, we're just gonna eyeball and cut these out and then hot glue them to their appropriate position. All right, so now that we finished putting our last embellishments on our gun, we are going to hit it with some paint. All right, so this is our finished product. It costs us about $37 with all new materials. But if you scavenge around your house or hit the dollar store as much as possible, you could do it way cheaper than that. I'm pretty sure that any Wookiee would be proud to carry this around, but let's head over to the rink and test it out. serve. Yeah! But the two blockers came back with a 36 points, giving $1,800 to the Komen Foundation. Yeah! Thank you so much for participating. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have been making some really cool builds at home, and we'll show them to you in the next episode. But in the meantime, check out Prank It Forward videos, where we've been doing some great pranks for some good causes. Also, check out the description below for the charity so you can donate, and also check out S1 Helmet. Did you all have fun? Yeah! Yeah! I'm Dylan Thomas, this is Frank and Ford, and see you later. You can get involved by sharing this video and using the hashtag Prank It Forward. For every thousand views this video gets, the more money we're able to donate to the wonderful charity, do something.org. So thanks for watching and sharing.